Hi, this is Tim Alosi with New England Controls, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about managing your paper. Um, we've spent a lot of money over the last several years automating our facilities with uh, process control systems and automating the major pieces of, of equipment, but there are still a lot of areas in uh, the plants that are very manually oriented and rely on paper records. Uh, they tend to be a little less efficient and they tend to be a little error prone due to transcriptions problems, missed steps, um, bad handwriting. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about one of those areas, the materials dispensary, and uh, I wanted to show you a solution that uh, you can use um, in order to automate uh, the dispensing and today we're going to be using the Syncade operations management software. So the basic workflow uh, through the dispensary is an order is created, either an SAP or Oracle or whatever the ERP is, and the uh, order has materials allocated, it has amounts, it has tolerances, uh, and that order tends to flow via paper to the dispensing operator where they'll go and pick material, hopefully the right material, uh, they'll dispense the orders, they'll be recording a lot of stuff into log sheets, onto batch record sheets, dispensing sheets. Uh, that stuff then gets, you know, hand typed into, back into the ERP to, for allocations. So um, that's the process we're going to be looking at. Uh, I've already gone and created my order and typically in a system like Syncade, uh, it will be connected to the ERP and so when the order is connect, uh, created in SAP or Oracle it will be automatically downloaded to the system. So if I take a look here we have a couple orders that need to be dispensing but I'm going to grab the order for the M&Ms. So um, the first thing that we see is it starts a uh, wizard and the wizard uh, helps guide the uh, operator through all the steps necessary to prepare for the dispensing. So the first thing the operator needs to do is tell it where it's going to be um, created and, and we're going to use our small dispensing booth. Um, I'm do, drop, doing this from a drop down box so we could also use a barcode scanner. When I hit next here the system's actually going to go out and check the status of this dispensing booth and if everything's okay it will proceed. Uh, next we have to pick a scale. For this test here I'm going to use our simulator and I'm actually going to barcode our scale to make sure that we get the right um, scale here. And it's picked the scale. It's going and doing a um, test to make sure that the scale is accurate, clean, ready to be used. Once that test comes back um, we can then determine what we're going to dispense into. We're just doing M&Ms here so a little plastic weight cup will be fine. We pick our printer uh, and then we hit next. Now the wizard walks us through the key pieces of information that are required for the operator and we're going to start with safety information. Always safety uh, first and uh, this displays the key elements uh, around the material uh, as well as any uh, information on um, personal protective equipment that might re be required. Uh, we've reviewed the safety material uh, information. We're going to move on. Here's some generic way notes. Place uh, the M&Ms into a cup and dispense. Um, once we've reviewed the way notes, uh, we can see that it's recommending that we use a 125 gram plastic container. That's good. And uh, we'll move on. And now we're moving into the full scale um, uh, system. As you can see from our video, we have a couple of sections up here. Up top, we have all the information about the order, what the order number was, uh, what where we are, what kind of vessel we're dispensing into, the products, the quantities, um, the tolerances. We also have information on documents, so if we were to pull up the material MSDS, for example, um, this isn't for M&Ms, but do you get uh, the example there? Uh, we have that information at our hands as well as the dispensing SOP. Down here we notice into the material side we have the ability to select a source uh, and uh, the quickest way to do something like that is with uh, a barcode so we're going to take our source container and scan that just like it says down in the instructions and uh, the first thing we do is go back to the ERP system and check to make sure that the material is uh, available and in the right state to be used. So we've got our lot number, we've got all set, 
Um, now, following our instructions down the bottom, it says to tear the dispense container. We're, for our demo, just going to use this little simulator. So let's say that our dispense container was uh, two gram, uh, not two kilograms. We'll change that to two grams. Once we have that ready, we'll set the tear. We now see that the scale resets to zero and our tear weight is two. Now, as we start to dispense our M&Ms, we're going to see the bar start to fill up and uh, as the system reads uh, the scale. Now, right now it's yellow and if we were to over dispense, it would turn red. You notice this is relatively large font, bright colors, easy to see from a distance. But of course, we've got great operators here today, so we're going to hit that 20 grams right on the nose. The bar turns green, which shows that we're within our tolerances. Uh, the system supports dispensing into multiple containers, but today we'll just dispense into one. Once the uh, material is all weighed up, we press complete. The operator is requested to put in uh, an electronic signature. The system supports um, part 11, so all the electronic signatures meet the requirements for that. Once the electronic signature is met, the system will print out a barcode and complete the order. Uh, in the background, uh, the ERP system is notified that the material has been dispensed, it's work in process, whatever else needs to take place. So this system is a lot more efficient than using paper. Uh, provides electronic records that are trackable, traceable, and easy to uh, investigate, and uh, a lot more efficient for the operators. So I hope you learned something today, and I look forward to seeing you all at the ISPE Table Show in October 2011. Thank you.